Well, the way the story goes is that Scott Chapel had this painting, Whatever Happened to Tongo, in his Milwaukee apartment for many years. And then for whatever reason, I got the painting back. Um, then uh, one day, well, we got the painting back. And soon after we got the painting back, Tongo contacted me. He sent an email to Grandpa or to Dad, asking, asking if he was my dad and if I knew, if he knew how to contact me. So we hadn't heard from Tongo in like 20 years. So all of a sudden, we knew what happened to Tongo. He was still around. So anyhow, this painting was out in the garage. And Tongo came to Madison, this was in 2004, to visit after not seeing us for like 20 years. So while Tongo was in Madison, I showed him this painting, you know, and it was the second time he'd seen it. So anyhow, while he was visiting us, he got to see this painting. So, um... So Tongo was here, and then he went back home. So not long after Tongo was here, maybe a month or two, I went out to the garage, and I noticed that something had fallen on this painting and ripped it right here. There's a little bitty rip, but it ripped it right where Tongo is. And the weird thing was, like, uh, like in the next week, that's when we got word that Tongo had died. So the first weird coincidence is that we hadn't heard from Tongo in years. This painting came back home, and then he called. And the second weird coincidence is that the painting got damaged right where Tongo is, and then he died. So, go figure. But anyhow, the painting um, looks like it's not in too bad a shape. So, I'd love it if you had it back, Scott. Because I don't have any place to hang it.